What's up? Welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, we're going to be talking about the leads that you get and how long it takes to close them into your program. Now, this is something I've been thinking about because a lot of coaches that um, ask me questions throughout the week, they always ask, you know, when someone is raising their hand, they're, they're wanting to join my program, sometimes it takes me forever to, to close them and get them in. Now, one of the big problems that I see is you might have a lead come in and maybe it's on email and they come in on email you go back to them on email and you're going back and forth. And what happens is there's zero, I'm gonna put phone call here, phone call. There's zero phone call, right? And the reason why there's not a phone call is because either you're most likely afraid to talk to them over the phone or you don't know what to say to them over the phone and you'd rather just send them an email. So what we need to do is completely change that. We want to take whoever the lead is and we want to get them on a phone call as quickly as possible so you can talk to them, right? Now, this is a, another big problem, though, that I see coaches uh, deal with is someone does raise their hand, they, they are interested, and then the coach and the business owner takes forever to get back to them, right? So you're delaying the process of closing because you're not following up with them. They raise their hand, but you're not aggressively trying to get on a call with them. You're not responding to them. And that would be the same. Like if, let's say you reached out to me, let's say you sent me a text message and it took me a week to get back to you. It would make you feel that I don't care about you, right? And I know that's happening right now when prospects reach out to you, that's what's happening right now is you're not getting back to them quick enough. So you need to make it a rule that within 24 hours, you've already established follow-up with them or you established contact with them. And that means that if they come in through your website or they come in through Facebook or they come in through Instagram, you've already followed up with them within 24 hours because odds are they are shopping. They are looking for help. And that means on the day that they reached out to you, they probably reached out to three or four other people as well. And whoever gets back to them first, has the advantage. That's why it's so important when we think about, you know, from going from lead to a client, we need to be uh, strong with how we respond. You need to do that fast. You can't delay, right? But this, this phone call here that I crossed out, that needs to be something that is a priority for you. That should be, you know, when someone comes into your ecosystem, you should be first to reach out to them, schedule a call with them, get them on a call, talk to them, see how you can help, and then we close them. And ideally, this is how I like to, to help coaches in our program. Ideally, we wanna go from lead to client in max one week. They need time to think, right? So this is why we need to have systems in place. But the first thing that we need to do is when someone comes into your ecosystem, all right, you follow up with them and you schedule time to chat over a call. If you're trading emails back and forth, that's going to delay this. And there's no way you're going to be able to close them into your program in under a week. All right. So I hope this helps. And uh, if you have any questions about sales or about how to do this or about what to say over the phone, reach out to me. You'll see my number pop up right here. It's uh, 210-960-5771. That's it for today's video. I'll see you later.